The Tet Offensive occurred in January 1968. Now then, Tet is so important because it occurred at the Tet holiday when a lot of South Vietnamese troops had the time off. And even then, because it was a religious holiday, the US assumed that nothing would happen, despite there being a considerable increase in trucks and support coming down the Ho Chi Minh Trail in the months previously. Anyhow, the Viet Cong launched a series of simula- sim- simultaneous military attacks against US targets over 100 towns and cities in South Vietnam. Most of, notably, the events in Saigon were the ones that got the most news coverage, though. The plan was to stimulate a mass uprising against the Americans from the South Vietnamese. Even the US embassy was not immune from attack. There were six key targets in Saigon. Now, one of them was the US embassy, where the Vietnamese, the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese troops managed to um, blow their way into the outer compound, but then couldn't get through to the actual, into the embassy. And so were actually disposed of relatively quickly when the US returned. Now, another target was the radio station. They had a tape by Ho Chi Minh uh, kind of encouraging South Vietnamese to break their loyalty to the state and actually, you know, help the North Vietnamese. Now, because they captured the radio station, the US cut power to it and therefore prevented it from actually broadcasting, which was quite clever. Um, 31st of January, sorry, was the date that this occurred. Now, what you've also got to remember is that for uh, for the Viet Cong, this was a massive military defeat, as despite the widespread uprising by the troops, not many of the South Vietnamese actually followed it, which is kind of an important thing. Um, Most did not desert their post. Nobody really went over to the other side. There was fierce fighting at Hue, where there was actually burials of around 20,000 Vietnamese uh, civilians who were actually ready for re-education. But anyhow, the, when, when it was discovered after the US took back the city, there was also fierce fighting in the naval base of Khe San in Vietnam. Tet was a massive military defeat for the South Vietnamese and also, sorry, for the um, Viet Cong and the North Vietnamese. Uh, with around 25,000 Viet Cong killed and 5,000 captured, they were decimated. They'd never be a particularly good force in the war again. There is an argument by historians that believe the North, the, the North Vietnamese ordered the Viet Cong to do this so they could purge party loyal, uh, put the leadership of the party. For the Americans, it was a turning point as Walter Cronkite, the broadcaster on um, CBS, told um, told the world that told the showed the world the scenes of devastation for Saigon and basically the U.S. having a hope of winning this. And um, he said the war had reached down there. And this in particular was what drove the US into withdrawing from Vietnam with honour, especially as they, the, um, the generals have been telling the, tr- telling the people for ages that, you know, the enemy could not launch a major attack. And here they did. They launched a major attack. And scenes from the breaking of the embassy were broadcast all across the world, questioning many Americans' um, beliefs in the legality and the rightness of fighting in Vietnam.